not fair When mom and dad nag nag Stand up straight, don't be rude It's so not fair Cause the killer boy rats No school sticks, kids rule So when they send you to your room Sing a little tune You sing na 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 understand what you're looking at here it might not be too noticeable throughout these areas obviously this is a very large area so there will be areas where it's not really above average but most areas within this in within this color shape will be above average most of the united states you see northern california in through coastal or below average precipitation meaning it's going to be pretty below average precipitation but below average precipitation but it might not be too noticeable now as you start to get into the precipitation, 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 below average precipitation, meaning it's going to be pretty below average precipitation, but precipitation, precipitation, elimination, precipitation, 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 take a sip. <laughs> precipitation, 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 precipitation. 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 Low average precipitation. Low average precipitation. This is a sip. Precip. Precipitation. Precip. Precip. Precipitation. Then that extends into the precipitation. 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 <laughs> Precipitation.
Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, precipitation. Precipitation. Ah, precipitation. Precipitation. Eh, precipitation. 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 Mm. Precipitation. Mm. Precipitation. Precipitation. <sighs> All over there, it's me, DM, and precipitation. Anyways. Hey, it's the gingerbread man. Why are you doing that? Well, it's just a thing I like to do, man. Gingerbread man, did you know that vaping is bad for your lungs? And bad for the body? Did you know that? Do you have pods on you? Oh, you just don't care. Well, vaping is terrible. Vaping is not good. A lot of kids in my school do it, and it's just sick, man. I mean, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll admit one thing. Okay, one time I was in school, and then some kid offered me to do it. I never heard of a vape before, so I tried it, and man, oh man, did it taste disgusting. But here's the thing I learned. Never take anything from people you don't know. That's what I learned. So while that did taste disgusting, and some kid told me, oh, it depends on what type of liquid. And it don't matter. It's, it's, it's still weird and gross. And, ugh, I just don't like it. Ugh. I don't know why Gingerbread Man over here likes it. Because it feels so good, man. It feels so good. Well, oh, Gingerbread Man, did you know there's many, many, many PSAs that, yes, they suck, but they do teach a lesson not to do it because it really destroys your body it destroys everything it destroys your lungs especially because if you keep putting that in between your lips it's gonna just ruin your freaking lungs man it's just like all the nicotine that's going inside your body it i just like the juice and the taste of the dude you really should do something about that because if you keep doing that every single day you're just gonna get sick dude you're gonna get really sick and if you don't know then just check this out it would be interesting to talk to students to find out what what would make you pay attention. Sanjay Gupta has more now, and, and in some ways they were turning these because they thought they were safer than traditional right. cigarettes, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly right, Erica. Look, you and I have kids who are about to be going into high school pretty soon, and as far as high school fads, which often come and go, 
Uh, this one seems to be sticking. Kids seem to think that it's it's not harmful, and with all of the chemicals, I think we don't. We're just now figuring out how harmful it is. We don't have a lot of research on our side, but what they are learning is not good. The only time that the brain grows and changes more is is at an infant age. And so any time that you introduce a chemical to interrupt that cognitive development, there are some serious concerns. We don't even know the cognitive impact. I think we're just starting to see it. It's worth looking into that we have a lot more students being diagnosed with ADHD and ADD and even not diagnosed but having you know trouble concentrating. Is that the cause? I don't know because I don't know everybody who's vaping and we just don't know the long-term effects because it's just so new. I was totally frustrated at, at break. We had all this stuff. I was just busting people. I'm going into bathrooms that stink. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what school should be. When I dealt with it at the high school level, we had kids in class who were using vape pens. That would happen quite often. So it was a big problem at the high school and I, I could see it trickling down more. I, talk to them about, do you know what you're putting in your body? Do you know what it does to you? We talked about the popcorn lung. There wasn't a lot of response. They're like, well, it's just, you know, you just inhale it. And a colleague of mine said, well, would you drink it? No. Why are you putting it into your lungs? They become addicted. And so they have those addictive behaviors. So it's even if they know it's not good for them, they're already addicted because the amount of nicotine in a cartridge is as, I don't think they realize is as much as, as what's in a pack of cigarettes. The THC levels are so much higher. They're like 90%, whereas 20 years ago it was more like five or 6%. I'd see kids on cameras, they're just going by themselves. You know, it's not even for fun. It's yeah. just yeah. feel normal. So people are yeah. getting hooked. It's just the nature of the age. It's not like kids these days. It's just, I mean, I was probably the same at that age. You feel invincible and you feel like, well, that's, you know, that's not going to be me. That doesn't matter to me. These companies are manipulating kids because the marketing is totally to this age group. No matter what the tobacco companies say, bubblegum flavored vape juice is not targeted towards my demographic. They advertise it as quit smoking, mm -hmm. you know, get nicotine this way. And it's it's just aerosol, yeah. which is like the stuff that you use in yeah, like lighter like, fluid and yeah, stuff. Yeah, or your hairspray, you can just, you know, it's like you sucking down your yeah. hairspray every morning. Today, actually, coincidentally enough, in our media class, that we have a couch and some students were sitting there and then when they left, somebody had left their vape pen behind, so we don't know whose it was and so we contacted parents and let them know. It could have been your your child. You know, the one I saw today I had never seen before. I think that if we try to chase it down, we're always going to be behind. So we have to get ahead of it and have students involved in the preventative side of it as well. Both of my kids are in middle school and they both think it's disgusting, but it's because of the conversations that we've had at home for a very long time. I asked my son the other day if anyone had ever offered it to him and he said somebody had at his school and he's in seventh grade. When we're trying to teach kids anything, whether it's behaviors or interacting with one another or academics, you try to find ways to engage them in the conversation and hope that it starts to matter. The, the object is to get it down to you guys where you're talking to each other. It doesn't very, do very good with the adults always talking. You can have Mr. Kerr out there saying, hey, stop vaping, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. it's bad for you. If we don't have the conversation on the other side, both at home and at school, then all they hear is how great it is. Why not have those conversations early before somebody's already addicted to it? It's not just about, you know, the adults having the conversation. We need to bring kids into the conversation and maybe trust them when they have information and are part of the conversation that, you know, they can come up with some solutions and some ideas as well. Kids are smart and if they're provided with all of the information, I think that they can make good choices. Hopefully, when there's more discussion and open conversations and information, you know, you hope that they'll make better decisions. But the vaping and the drooling and the cigarettes and the drugs and whatever the heck is going to kill you. 
Do you understand? Drugs can kill. They can kill you. It can kill your lungs. It can kill your whole body. If you keep doing it every single day, it's just going to hurt you even more inside. So do you want to make the world a better place? Do you want to just make things better? You're not going to make it better if you keep continuing to do stuff like that. As long as you stop. Well, you know what? I can't control people who smoke all the time because it, that's your business. You want to smoke, you want to go down that route, you want to go down that path, go ahead. But just remember this. It's just going to do nothing but hurt you. You want to do that? I'm not going to hate you on it. Just just, just remember. It's, it's just going to ruin your body. And if you want to continue that, like I said, go ahead. But I don't want to go down that path because I, I just think, you know, it's not good for me. And I know it's not good for me because I just don't like this stuff, man. And I've never heard of vaping before until I realized that it's the same as cigarettes. Except you get to put colors and, I don't know, juice inside of it. It's just, it's just stupid in my opinion. You know, it's stupid. And Gingerbread Man, if you want to continue to go down that path, go ahead. I don't care. I actually don't want to do this stuff anymore. It's hard to stop. It really is hard to stop. I I, I know this from experience because I've seen a lot of people, a lot of my friends, a lot of my relatives, you know, they, they, they have it too. But then again, it's like, you know what? Do you really want to continue that? Just be honest. Do you really want to continue that? But you know what? It ain't my business. It's your business. But just remember, it's, it's going to do nothing but hurt. Am I right, gingerbread man? I'm going to put a stop to this. Maybe he will stop. Who knows? <laughs>
Just don't. But the ones who are doing it right now, I don't care. Go ahead. Just remember the side effects that will happen to you. It may kill. Other than that, peace out. Can you teach us how to sit on a chair? Hello there, it's me, DM. And today I'm going to teach you how to sit on a chair. To sit on a chair. How to sit on a chair. Right? You know, the, the most, most hardest thing to do on earth, man, is to sit on a chair. It is so freaking hard. I'm telling you this right now from experience. I can't even do it. Okay. Actually, you know what? Lies. I know how to sit on a chair because, you know, you know, somebody got brains. Um, you know, I hate you. Anyways, um, today I'm going to teach you how to sit on a chair. <laughs> so first, what you got to do is you got to lift this bad boy up. You can also drop it too if you want to. Right? Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to move it. You want to just move it a few times, you know. Just move it. Stupid chair. <laughs> okay, you got step two finished, hopefully. Um, step three, um, you have to find a good sitting position. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, hmm. I'll be right back. Give me a minute. So, okay, got my shoes on. Now, let's sit down. Nope, that is not how you sit on a chair. This is how you sit on a chair. Yeah, no. Let's see. Yeah, no. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! <laughs> I think the, the correct way of sitting on a chair is step four is you sit on it like this. And that is how you sit on the chair. If you didn't get these steps right, please call a doctor. Not on me, but on yourself. Because, really? Come on, guys. <laughs> so basically, what can you do?